Good evening, by the way. No. He doesn't. Ooh. Thanks, guys. Have an awesome day. A positive mental attitude can clear away all obstacles which stand between you and your major purpose in life. Let's do it. It's go time. Positive mental attitude. And you know this, man! Hey guys, today I was returning to Nanjing Road to go to the Apple Store to pick up a laptop. But not everything went as planned. The time was 9.20 and I had to return to the hotel for 12 o'clock because I then had to go to Shanghai's Pudong Airport to fly to Jinzhou and then take a road trip to a place called Songzi. Hotel in its glory. You might notice that the Chinese chap who came into the lift area with a cigarette on the go. The hotel. Very nice hotel, Ibis, but you know what to expect from an Ibis, because they're generally all the same. So we're going to head off down in this direction to the tube station. Strange looks from Chinese sometimes, they stop and stare. We don't see many Westerners, it's going to happen more in Shanzi. We don't get to see many people now, too.
after coming to Nanjing Road previously, I'd spotted the Apple store. In between getting lots of strange looks from people being a Westerner and holding a camera, I know, I see the irony. I made a mental note to return and decided that it would be a good time to get a laptop upgrade. Nanjing Road. If you haven't seen that video at night time, everything's illuminated, check the link above now. I was also very pushed for time and the Apple store hadn't opened yet. I was running out of time. If the Apple store didn't open soon, I just didn't have enough time allowance to travel back to the hotel and then get to the airport because I couldn't miss this flight. Whilst I timed the duration of the journey coming down from the hotel to Nanjing Road, you have to allow time for unexpected things that can really, quite literally, derail the train. Finally, the doors are opening. Fantastic. Let's get this MacBook and leave. Hi. Hi. I was torn whether to get a MacBook or an iPad, but I figured the MacBook would enable me to edit video in 4K. Fantastic, as you can see by this face. But unfortunately, it was short-lived because I encountered a problem. It wouldn't allow me to pay with a credit card unless I had my passport. Where was my passport? In my bag at the hotel. And I was out of time. It was time to leave. So whilst this didn't work out, I did, however, meet a lovely Chinese woman who was working at the Apple store. She spoke perfect English and she mentioned that she'd lived previously in Edinburgh while she was a student for two years and she'd worked there in a Tesco Metro of all places. She mentioned it was a shame that I was only in Shanghai for two days as she would have liked to have taken me to some places. So sometimes in life, the outcome of situations doesn't always meet our expectations and sometimes we can leave with something far more interesting and meaningful. I will always take experiences over material possessions, simply because generally our attachment to material possessions are short-lived, whereas positive experiences result in longer, sustainable levels of happiness. See you in the next video, guys. PMA. Enjoy your day.